Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so in this video, there is a very major update. So you might be seeing that third disturbance that is highlighted and be wondering what? But this wasn't here yesterday. Well, it is a new area of interest that recently popped up. And so it is likely that we will be seeing development. It is very new and the chance is very high. So we'll be looking at that along with Invest 91L and that wave that is off the coast of Africa. And so before I go into details, details. Okay, so let's go ahead and start out with current satellite view of the North Atlantic. And so here we have it. Uh, we're seeing that we had those systems. So there are the three areas that I encircled. And then in the Caribbean, that is something very interesting. I want to go ahead and talk about that for a bit. So looking at it at a closer view here, we're seeing that we have this blob of shower and thunderstorm activity associated with a tropical wave. And uh, earlier this morning here in Jamaica, maybe uh, late last night in some areas, especially the southwestern parishes, uh, there was likely some very heavy rainfall. But this morning, especially in my area, there was a lot of showers and thunderstorms and it was very windy as well. You would think that it was a storm happening out there. Looking at it on a closer view, here we have it. So we see that we have some of this deep convection uh, dissipating. But this morning, it was definitely uh, a lot of showers and thunderstorms taking place here in Jamaica. So we're now starting to have an improvement and it is mainly just light showers taking place in some parishes. All right, so going ahead and taking a look at our disturbances now. So let's go ahead and start off with that wave off Africa. So there is a 50% chance that we could possibly see development within this area. So we have the chance increasing here and a general westward to west northwest uh, motion is expected of this, this disturbance and looking off the coast of Africa, Africa, here we are seeing it so not very organized right now and it will have to bear through quite a bit of unfavorable conditions and really get itself together so it has that small window of opportunity to be classified as a tropical cyclone so we'll see what happens with it as for this new area now so it has formed from a decaying uh, frontal boundary and so the chance is at 70 percent and this is quite significant and these systems are so brief sometimes they just pop up on the radar and then by the next day you could be dealing with a tropical cyclone so i'm starting to have good uh, confidence that this is going to be a tropical cyclone within the next couple of days so looking at it on satellite we're seeing some organization with the system a little bit of rotation as well so let's see if we're going to be having this uh, becoming tropical storm or subtropical storm danielle over the next couple of days but i definitely think that we will be seeing development of this because this uh, these systems are very sneaky sometimes and they will just pop up out of nowhere so we have a new disturbance and now the chance is all the way sky high at 70 percent so we'll see what happens with it but conditions are conducive to enable it to intensify into a tropical or subtropical cyclone and so let us go ahead and now talk about invest 91l and so looking at the five-day outlook from the national hurricane center we're seeing that the chance is constant at 80% for the system to possibly develop and so uh, it is going to be encountering some unfavorable conditions and that is going to be helping to limit the intensification of the system during the next couple of days but a general northwestward motion is expected and we could still see this thing here become a tropical depression over the next few days so looking at current satellite imagery of it we're seeing that it is very disorganized and it was actually looking a lot better last night but now uh, we have the shower and thunderstorm activity being a little bit more widespread and not so compact anymore so we'll see what eventually happens with it but as i said those unfavorable conditions are up ahead and we'll be looking at those very shortly but now let us go ahead and talk about the model intensity guidance and so we have these various models available and so uh, we could say that half of them are expecting that we will be seeing this thing eventually becoming a hurricane. Meanwhile, the other half is expecting that we will see a tropical storm at the most out of 91L. And so I think that this could become a hurricane in the long term, but definitely not imminently due to the uh 
unfavorable environment that is up ahead for it and so let's go ahead and take a look at those conditions starting off with this water vapor map so the yellows indicate dry air meanwhile those whites and those greens indicate that we have moisture and shower and thunderstorm activity taking place so there we have invest 91l located right within that region so again it's going to be making its way to the northwest which means it is going to be encountering all of this dry air that is up ahead so this is going to be helping to limit the shower and thunderstorm activity uh, taking place within the disturbance and looking a bit more to the east of the coast of Africa there we have that other disturbance that tropical wave uh, that has a medium chance to develop so it is also going to be encountering some of that dry air so let's see what's going to be eventually happening with both of these systems but looking into the Caribbean where we have that blob located we don't see much dry air intrusion at all and then in terms of that new disturbance that popped up on the radar it is uh, currently in a favorable environment with not much dry air intrusion either and so uh, that disturbance is not yet designated as an invest as of the time that I'm making this video but it is likely that it will be uh, later today and so and so going on to the wind shear map now so wind shear is another factor that influences tropical cyclone development and so when we have those strong upper level winds they usually prevent the systems from growing and intensifying and so the red indicates that we have unfavorable shear the yellow means neutral and the green means favorable so we see that we have quite a bit of unfavorable shear that is extended across portions of the caribbean heading into the main development region out there so just ahead of 91l we have unfavorable shear as well so there we have dry air and strong upper level winds that are going to be out there and that is going to be helping to limit intensification and then going back to these three systems all together now so i really think that this new one is danielle in the making that we are looking at and then these other two eventually uh, might intensify into tropical cyclones and the next two names after danielle are earl and fiona so let's see if we're going to be having those two names being used maybe as we're going to be heading into the early part of next week but i really think that we will be seeing Danielle before the end of this week and more than likely from that new area of interest that is highlighted out there. And so in terms of the favorability of the sea surface temperatures here, we're seeing that ocean temperatures are definitely conducive for uh, these systems. But as for the one that is located off Africa, that wave, uh, there are cooler waters up ahead for it. And so if it is going to be making its way into those cooler waters, then we won't see a whole lot of shower and thunderstorm activity taking place within the disturbance. Because tropical cyclones need at least 26 and a half degrees Celsius at the minimum. But uh, if we have 26, 20 celsius we won't see much intensification take place of the system and so guys we'll see what eventually happens but that is what is going on out there and we should definitely be looking forward to seeing more activity like this as we progress into the next several weeks because we are approaching the peak of the hurricane season and so guys that is it for this update and if you found it to be quite informative please give a thumbs up and you can share your thoughts in the comments or ask a question i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be with wise